Hey guys, Crow here, and welcome to another episode of Mythic Mobs. Today I'm doing a little bit more on the um, villager traits because Garrett uh, has been having a few troubles. So I've created this mob, uh, the Garrett mob, and uh, what he does is he runs this custom trade skill, uh, which I've got a very basic version of over on the left. This is actually Garrett's file, so uh, he's got a single trade there which will work. Uh, first of all, we set in the entity data for the for the mob uh, with its custom name, traveler, and all that sort of good beans. Uh, we've got the offers that it uh, that it runs, uh, and each trade is an offer, so a recipe. Okay, so the first one we're looking at twenty um, test shards, which are uh, quartz things, and the reward for that is a testing item one which is a diamond sword so what we're going to do is we're going to copy that max uses from this uh, left curly bracket all the way to the right curly bracket okay so we copy that and then after that right curly bracket we put a comma then we insert everything that we've just copied yep and then we need to just indent the left curly bracket so it's in line and then this is our second trade so we're going to change that trade to 10 test shards and it's going to be a diamond spade shovel yeah that's the word uh, and we're going to call it testing item 2 so if I'm going to quickly save that you can see it's edited at the moment so here's the whole file I'm going to put this in the uh, description as well in the Dropbox so we've got this the, tr the skill and the mob I'm going to quickly reload the Mythic Mobs and I'm going to grab a hold of the Garrett Mob so that's the egg and if I just switch over there and place it on the ground over there it should look like Garrett hopefully that looks like your skin Garrett and when I right click on him it's now called the Traveller and it's got testing item 1 for 20 and testing item 2 for 10 so that is how the trades uh, work. If you want to add more trades, you just keep on adding the same way I did before. So add a comma to the end and then paste all of that block for the max trades. And then that should work. Okay, take care. See you next time, guys.